tres exploraciones urbanas que terminaron mal. Temporada 2. Capítulo 31. En el capítulo 31 de la segunda temporada de esta serie de aterradoras exploraciones, visitamos unos túneles abandonados, entramos en una casa donde un anciano fue asesinado y tenemos un encuentro con un poltergeist. Los protagonistas aseguran que los eventos paranormales captados en las grabaciones eran totalmente verdaderos e incluso afirman haber sentido susurros y silbidos por parte de entidades misteriosas. Hoy te traigo tres exploraciones urbanas que terminaron mal. Nueva tienda de merchandising disponible. Te dejo el link en la descripción para que puedas visitarla y ver todo su contenido. Número 1. Túnel de almas. La primera grabación pertenece al canal de Franco TV. En esta ocasión caminó por unos antiguos túneles encantados, donde captó numerosas anomalías junto con el explorador del canal Omar Ghosh TV. Lo primero que hicieron fue contemplar un poco el lugar antes de pasar a la zona del túnel. Oh, and here, yeah, you can hear like a rudder, like, and that's a turbine, all rusted out. Would you ever, if I could get I don't know if she would be down for it, but if I could get Nicole's permission, put a kayak in here. Because <laughs> look, you could go into those tunnels. Oh, wow. And you could go inside. Well, look, that's all rock over there. You can, you can get down there. I, I would totally do that. All right, so if you guys are aware, this is the creepy tunnel of destiny and success. Oh, they're already putting the whale bars. They're going to be doing like a six fears attraction in here. But this place here is Oh my god, this is awesome. They're getting this whole place set up. This whole area here just keeps going on. Forever. Look at that. So terrifying. But I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. Eventually, I'll be linking back up with Omar if he makes it down here, which I give him credit if he does. Oh my god, I'm already in the tunnels. Is that it's still daylight outside, 
so you could actually see some of the light breaking in. Oh shit, I almost fell. Whoa. I already got a noise down here. No, I'm, I'm over here, buddy. Was that you? Tras esto, continuaron avanzando por el túnel y consiguieron grabar esto. No, I was too far down there. I just now came out. I set it up again later, but a little bit more. Which way is deeper? That way. That way. This way. You haven't seen anything yet. Over yeah. here is where it gets super deep. Okay, let's go that way. That's where they had the satanic ritual. They sacrificed, uh, I think, a bunny or something. That's what I heard. Around it. And then down there. <gasps> what the fuck was that? Did you catch that? Yo, that sounded like a cat. Wait, Wait was it a cat? I don't know. It's some. Oh, crap. I just stepped on it. It wasn't a bird. Was no. But remember, this is where the little girls' area is at. Or where the girls actually. Haven't you caught children? Yeah. Really? I caught them. You're going to hear echoes everywhere. It's the creepiest thing. Should I leave this here in the sacrifice area? I or? think you should take that with you too. Oh, I'm sorry if I blinded you. Um, go to the little girls' area. There's a table with a whole bunch of dolls. Look how deep it is. Oh my god. Oh, it's terrifying for me. <laughs> yeah, but where, where is it that people have been scratching? Oh, all over here, oh. usually here and upstairs, unless you're traveling around to different locations. But here is where it's the worst, according to Steve. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Listen. No idea. Oh, by the way, this is another area where somebody passed away. Oh, right, right here. Right over here. If you look here, Stephen actually showed me this. Los espeluznantes ruidos fueron incrementándose gradualmente. Escucha atentamente. ¿Cómo se ve? Let me see. Mine. Oh, 
That's terrifying. Try coming in at night by yourself. I dare you. I don't want to go. Dude, something appeared right in front of you right now on the TikTok filter. What are you looking at, man? I don't know. It was like something blue. Like. Oh, look, look, look. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh my God. Oh, dude. Wait, what was that? No, no, no. Somebody's messing with us, dude. That was two. Who is that? This is where the little kids' room is at, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna check down here. What's making this REM pod go off? Did somebody summon a demon in these tunnels? What's that we? Yeah. Who did? Me. Me? I said it twice. Who's me? What's your name? How many spirits are here? Finalmente dieron por acabada la investigación. Número 2. El anciano asesinado. Continuamos con una exploración del canal de Mo Sargi. Ese día se infiltró en la casa de un anciano fallecido, el cual fue asesinado en ese mismo lugar. Hello? How do people live in this house? It's so tight. Whoa, oh my god, there's a tr entire train railway system down here. Okay, this is cool. What am I stepping in? Comenzaron a observar las habitaciones, las cuales se habían convertido en un vertedero. So this place did have a merger inside of it, which is why it did become abandoned, but it was also owned by a dude that absolutely loved trains. And look at this. He got a train circuit over here on the ground, which is pretty interesting. Look at this. Apparently there's like a lot of train stuff and it's a time capsule too, so everything is left behind. Whoa, check it out, there's a piano here. Hey. Ooh, it still works. What's with all these Tim Hortons cups? <laughs> That's so cool. Somebody knocking? No. Oh, shit, I thought somebody was knocking for a second there. 
So check it out guys, this is the living room area and as you can see, I think the murder took place on the couch if I'm not mistaken. I can't give too many details about it because um, I don't, oh my god I just realized this. There's a whole train, oh my god the train circuit goes around the ceiling. This dude had a thing for trains, look at this. What the hell? So that's why they call it the train house. The murder train house, haha. <laughs> Look at this, there's a whole circuit. And it goes all the way up and around the walls. Whoa, those are all like little fake railway systems on the walls here, as you guys can see. Ew, the fact that somebody died here, like it looks like a death couch, to be honest. I don't know how they died. I think maybe they were suffocated or something like that from what I heard. Yo, Carlo, did you see the, the, the ceiling? Yeah. There's a whole railway. That's pretty cool. You know what I'm trying to figure out? What are the hockey sticks that hold? Is it the, the sticks are holding the train? Yeah, it's like a mount they made for it. Yeah. What the hell is all this? Stickers. Really old school Christmas stickers. <clears throat> wow. So this house isn't that big. So I don't know, honestly, what to expect from it. There's a basement, there's an upstairs, and everything is left behind, literally. Oh, that's the basement. I'll save that till the end. That looks so creepy. Sergeants, let's go upstairs. Holy crap. There's like stuff everywhere. This place looks like a house from nightmares. That's what nightmares are made of right here. Gotta be careful too. Look at the floor. It's destroyed. Whoa. I haven't seen an abandoned house like this in a very long time. It's been a while. This could have been the possible murder spot. I don't exactly know where the person was murdered in this house. I just know it was a male, an old man. Oh, oh it smells bad in here. Wow. Look at this, there's a Ferrari in here. Or a box for a Ferrari. Now this is what you call a time capsule. Everything left behind. So much stuff. I guess this person liked cars and trains because he it's got a magazine just full of pictures of cars, hockey sticks everywhere. Whoa, it smells good in this bathroom, believe it or not. This is like the medicine cabinet and the cologne bottles. De la nada se escucharon unos escalofriantes sonidos. Atento. What the hell is this thing? Oh, that's heavy. Let me know in the comments below if you guys know what that is. Also, you guys probably noticed my energy is a bit low. Can't be too loud in here because I hear somebody yelling. I can't be too loud because there are neighbors nearby and they're always watching this place and calling the cops and people that get in here. So we gotta be careful. But yes, this is exactly the definition of a time capsule. Whoa. I wonder if there's like any money left behind. It looks like people came through here and kind of destroyed this place. Um, and it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. I'm thinking maybe like, 10 years or something like that. We got an old school cabinet, probably full of stuff. Whoa! We have a picture. I think this is the dude that got killed, but I think this is the guy here. Holy moly. Wow. Rest in peace, dude. We got some more of his socks left behind. From what I was told, this guy lived here by himself. He didn't have family, he didn't have friends. He was kind of more solo. And I'm not sure if he had something going on with like shady people, which is why they, they came in here and suffocated him to death from what I was told, either choked, suffocated, or poisoned, one or the other, I don't know. But, um, he was here solo, and which explains like the train. I guess the train, having a train in here was like his hobby to keep him from going crazy because he was here all by himself. It makes perfect sense if you, you know, if you think about it. Imagine being in a house all by yourself, you have no family, you have no friends, and your only hobby is building trains, and then some asshole comes and ends your life. I wonder what's in here. Oh, there's not much in there. There's a lot of stuff left behind, but it's very, very dirty, so we gotta really be careful of, you know, where we step and where we go. Oh, it's a window. Hey, Aldo. What's up? Dude, I found a picture of the guy that was murdered in here. Are you serious? Yeah, I got a picture. You got a blurry thing? I found a picture of Charles? This is a picture of him. What? Yeah. Do you wanna see it? Like, you wanna show it? There you what? Go. That's a, yo! That's, That's what Charles looks like? Yeah. Getting a B-roll of this. Oh. 
Hello? Yo, did you hear that? Yeah. That was a sound. Is there anything down there? Hello? Carlo, are you okay? Yeah, I just realized there's a hole in the in this door here. Did you notice this hole in the door? No. Whoa. That's so creepy. Yo, there was never a hole there. Well, I'm not sure. Yo, what was that noise? The neighbors creeping around the house. No way. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn off your lights. Turn off your lights. The neighbor, the neighbor we seen when we first walked on the property, he's walking on the property. He's so, the down. I found a picture of the guy that was murdered in here. Oh, you I have it right here. I am going down to the basement. Oh my god, it looks so freaking tight here. Ugh. Cuando bajaron al sótano se dieron cuenta de que el anciano era un aficionado a los trenes. Observa. How do people live in this house? It's so tight. Whoa, oh my god, there's a tr entire train railway system down here. Okay, this is cool. What am I stepping in? All right, so this basement looks pretty interesting. Check it out. There's an entire... Whoa, National Steel Car Hamilton. Wow, look at this. All the train cars apparently are missing. Somebody stole them. There used to be a lot of them here. The dude that lived here that was murdered, this was his railway system. He had a whole railway system in the basement. I have never seen anything like this in my life. This is really cool like and intricate too. Like to build something like this big down in a tight basement like i'm going to show you guys how tight this exactly is like i'm standing here this is how tight it is here very very tight you can barely move around dude must have been short to basically build a railway system down here um a lot of work probably a lot of years which is kind of sad because dude was all by himself and i, and I feel so bad for him you know, I, I hate the fact that, you know, somebody lived a life solo and they suffered because of it. And in the end, they end up getting killed. It's just really, really sad. But, I mean, you know, I hope he lived a full life. I hope he enjoyed his life. And that's all that matters, right? Like the conductor's office, kind of. But check this out. <laughs> hey, there we go. It smells like urine in here, though. Look at this. He had all his switches to turn on this train thing I like that this is pretty cool so many buttons it smells like pee here I can't breathe I'm getting the hell out of here it smells like somebody pissed all over this place yucky yeah I feel so dirty all of a sudden Ugh. and I guess that was it for the basement there's not much going on here you know, a lot of stuff left behind, but the house ain't that big. Keep in mind, this guy was by himself here, right? He does not need a big mansion. Tras esto, no ocurrió nada más, por lo que abandonaron el lugar. Número 3. Silbidos de Poltergeist. La tercera y última grabación pertenece al canal Dark Ghost Paranormal. Dennis visitó una casa abandonada en la que tuvo lugar un terrorífico encuentro con un poltergeist. Ты здесь? Думал, пора отсюда уходить. Nada más llegar a la casa, instaló unas velas y comenzó una sesión de EVP. No obtuvo respuesta, pero lo que ocurrió minutos después te dejará los pelos de punta. Итак. Здесь кто-нибудь есть? Здесь кто-нибудь есть?
Если здесь кто-нибудь есть, дай знак. Если здесь кто-нибудь есть, дай знак. Где ты сейчас находишься? Ты прямо передо мной? Tras esto, comenzó a moverse por el lugar y captó esto, atento. Даже с истоком прикатился. Сейчас. Блин. Ты сейчас здесь? Где ты сейчас находишься? Ты еще здесь? Thank you. 
antes de terminar de explorar, sufrió varios eventos paranormales. Пора отсюда уходить. Что мне не нравится, что я тут. Después abandonó el lugar. Recuerda, jamás explores solo. Nos vemos en el próximo capítulo. No olvides dejar tu apoyo en forma de like y suscríbete si no lo estás.